What is going on? Dalton here back with another episode of DC Collects. Today we're going over some Funko terminology that I see a lot of newer collectors struggling with. So let's get collecting. First term I see a lot of newer collectors struggling with is limited pieces. So limited piece count, as you can see, this is my Freddy Funko as Thor. He's also metallic, but he is limited to 1,000 pieces. So what that means is there is only 1,000 of these in the entire world. Funko has only made 1,000 of them, and they're never making any more, which makes them very sought after and obviously a lot more valuable. Funko Pop collectors really like limited piece pops because it makes you feel special knowing that you have you are one of the 1,000 people in the world that own this pop and no one else can own it. So it gives you a sense of pride in owning these pops. Not everyone cares about limited piece pops, but that is what that means is that there is only that number of pops in the entire world. And they'll never be making any more. Okay, next term on the list, we have flocked. So as you can see, that is the flock sticker indicating that this pop is flocked. I'm going to pop this out of the box and show you guys exactly what the flocked looks like. Okay, so this is Buckbeak from the Harry Potter line. But as you can see, I hope my camera's picking it up, but it's fuzzy. It's so fluffy. But it's, uh, it's actually fuzzy and furry to the touch, I guess you could say. It's not smooth. They do this on a lot of animal pops, which obviously looks really cool because it gives them the look of fur, or in this case, feathers. It makes them look feathery. So that is what flocked is. When you see a flock sticker, it means it's nice and fuzzy. So anytime you see a flock sticker, that means that that pop is fuzzy or flocked as I was just showing you a lot of the times the flocked edition of the pop will be exclusive so that's our next term on the list exclusive so when I say exclusive that means that that pop is sold exclusively with the retailer that that sticker is associated with so I have a pop here here's my example so in this case, the retailer was Hot Topic, and this was the metallic variant of Mag Magneto. So Hot Topic was the only retailer that was selling the me metallic version of Magneto. The common version, which was not metallic, was sold at every retailer that sells Funko Pops. So your exclusive sticker, so exclusive to Hot Topic, that means it's only sold by Hot Topic. We also have this exclusive sticker. So this one was exclusive to Box Lunch. So that means you could only buy this pop from Box Lunch. It was exclusively sold at Box Lunch. And this is kind of a cool exclusive sticker that I wanted to show you guys. This was their special Earth Day Box Lunch sticker. And basically the box, as you can see, it's browner is made of recycled materials so you will see that from time to time them having different variations of their exclusive sticker but what that means is that that retailer has the exclusive right to sell this pop and then while we're on that topic i'm going to go over special edition stickers so a lot of the time you're going to see special edition stickers on pops and a lot of people are wondering what that means. So essentially, the special edition sticker is put on any pop that is sold exclusively at a real retailer that is not located in your country. So for example, I live in Canada and Omega Red was exclusive to Walgreens. So since we don't have Walgreens in Canada, this got a special edition sticker and was sold at Toys R Us, which we do have in Canada. And so this is actually a Walgreens exclusive, but since we do not have that retailer in Canada, it comes to us with the special edition sticker. 
So this means exclusive to a certain retailer that is not in your country. Another quick example of an exclusive sticker. So this one is exclusive to Walmart, only sold at Walmart. You'll only find this one at Walmart. And I'll just show you that too. So the exclusive part of this one was that he had his mace, the common, he had a different weapon. Okay, so we already took a quick look at this pop, but this is going to be my next example and I'll pop it out of the box for you guys. But this is metallic so metallic does not have an official sticker that you're going to see on any of the windows of the Funko Pop boxes but usually when it's metallic that is the exclusive to a certain store so this is the metallic version of Magneto and you can really get a sense of how shiny this paint is so metallic is essentially them painting the Funko Pop in a way that it basically looks like a colored piece of shiny metal. But you can visually see that. Personally, this is my favorite variant that Funko does is metallic. I just love metallic paint. I think it looks super sick. But this is metallic. So, as I was saying earlier, the common version of Magneto would not have been metallic. It would have all been flat paint, not shiny, and not exclusive to Hot Topic. And it would have been the common sold at every Funko Pop retailer. So, this was the metallic Hot Topic exclusive only exclusively sold at Hot Topic. Next up on the terminology list, we have Diamond Editions. So I do see a lot of people commonly getting confused with this. Just show you guys a sticker up close. I do see people getting confused and calling them glitter pops. Uh, I know technically it is glitter, but Technically, by Funko standards, it is considered a diamond pop. So, yes, that's all they do. They basically cover the pop in glitter, but it is not a glitter pop. It is a diamond pop. So, as you can see, this is the Vision, and he is very glittery. So anytime you see a glitter pop, it is the diamond edition. Next up on the terminology list, we have glow in the dark. So that's this sticker that says glows in the dark. Very obvious. But what I see some people getting confused over is G-I-T-D. So that's just the acronym for glows in the dark. But you'll see that a lot. When you're looking for pops online, it'll say the GITD exclusive. I do see some people wondering what that means. Some people just aren't familiar that it's an acronym. It's an honest mistake, but this is the glow in the dark pop. So this is a nice looking pop. All the pops will have different parts on them that glow. So it's just by per pop basis. You'll notice what parts of the pop can glow basically the glow paint has a, a bit of texture to it you'll notice if you have a common and a glow version you can you'll be able to feel the difference but it's basically it feels like a grittier paint to me and that's how you can tell without putting a black light on the pop what parts glow sometimes it's really hard to tell but it, most of the time that's a good way to tell. So I know that one was kind of basic, but I do see people tripping over GITD. So next up we're gonna do the chase pops. So a chase pop nowadays is every one and six Funko Pop. So basically this is the common version of this Funko Pop and every sixth version of the character made was made with this mask on and that was considered the chase so this is a one in six chase that is the common as you can see him without the mask and the chase version was him with the mask so that does make these pops a little rarer obviously because they're more limited but back in the day they used to be one in 36 which was super obviously way harder to get and that's back when they used to just dump the boxes on the shelves and whoever was lucky enough to find the chase got the chase. It's not like nowadays where the stores know how much they're worth and sell them way above market value. But anyway, that is a chase pop. Sticking on with the chases, so this is 
a different chase variant, you could say. So this is a glow-in-the-dark chase. So basically, the common was the exact same mold. So every sixth print of this character was made into glow in a glow chase. So same concept as the chase sticker. It's every one in six, but the difference between the common and the chase is that the chase glows and the common doesn't. And also a new Funko Pop coming up, which looks really sick and I really want to get my hands on it, is the new Blacklight Chase Sentinel and Wolverine. And this is a 10 inch pop, but you'll be able to see the common and then the Blacklight Chase, which is again every one in six. So next we're going to go over Comic Con stickers. I see tons of people getting confused over this, especially since at New York Comic Con this year they were giving out the shared stickers at the con. Super confusing. And, and unlucky for the poor people who waited five hours in line just to get their con sticker. But we love you, Funko. This first up we have the New York Comic Con. This is the shared sticker. So this B2 emo, which is part of the Star Wars Andor line was exclusive to the New York Comic Con. So what they do at the Comic Con is if you attend the Comic Con yourself and purchase the pop at the con, you are supposed to get the con version sticker, which nowadays does hold more value than the shared sticker. That's a topic for another video. But basically you can either get the con sticker at the actual event or what Funko does is they share out these con exclusives to different retailers. So this is what's known as the shared con sticker. So this is the shared exclusive sticker. You don't see it say, saying New York Comic Con on there. You just see the little Statue of Liberty. You know it is from that Comic Con, but it doesn't say it right on there as the sticker does. So that's the difference between the two stickers. They are technically an exclusive from the same event, but this is how they get these pops out to people who can't attend the event. And I guess the con sticker is supposed to be the added incentive to come to the event because they are, like I said, a little bit more valuable than the shared sticker. Some, In some cases, actually a lot more valuable. But they tend to come closer to each other as they mature in age, from what I've studied. So I hope that video helped out some people. Like I said, I've just seen some newer collectors definitely struggling with some of that terminology. I'm going to be putting out some more videos like this because I've already thought of some stuff that I missed in today's video. So thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next video.